Hi, in this lesson, we'll learn a new s hana migration cockpit tool that is known as the LTMC. LTMC stands for Legacy Transfer Migration Cockpit. Just like in ECC, we generally use LSNW or BDC for the data migration from the legacy system. In s hana along with that, SAP has introduced a new tool, LTMC. In case of LSNW, first we do the recording, then we maintain the source field, then we do the source and target field mapping with the recorded session, and then we execute the session. But in case of LTMC, we don't have to do any kind of recording. As SAP by default provides a template, which is nothing but an Excel file with a predefined fields. And those fields are on the back end mapped with the BAPIs of option modules through which the respected, respective data is getting created. Here we can use LSMC, LTMC tool for creating of battle master, suppliers, vendors, GL account, profit center, center etc. So the steps for LTMC, once you log in to the SAP GUI, we have to enter T code LTMC then the browser, IE a browser will open with the default URL of LTMC. And before that, your system, your basis consultant should have configured the LTMC details in your system. Then on the browser, a LTMC session will get open. We can see a screenshot like this. And then once the browser is open, we have to enter the login credential, like same ID password, which we are using to log in into SAP GUI. Then first, we have to click on the create icon to create a new project. And then inside the project, we have to select the object, what we are going to create, like material, customer, profit center, bank, there are many other objects. Inside one project, we can have multiple objects. Then. For the selected object, we have to download a template, fill all the data in the downloaded file. After that, we have to upload that file and those steps you have to follow. Like we have to activate, it will start transfer, data validation, convert values, simulation, and execute the import. So all these steps we have to perform in the LTMC. So let's log into SAP system and create our first LTMC project for the creation of material master. So here, after logging into SAP GUI, enter T code LTMC and then press enter. A new browser will open as I had already logged in before this session, system has not asked me any login credential, but when you are doing first time, system will ask you to enter the ID password. Then after entering the ID password, we will get this screen. If you have already created some project, you can see the list of projects here. As if you are doing the first time, then click on this create button. Once you click on create button, system will create a new migration project. Get the project name, like demo. Demo LTMC. So thank you, any name. And then click on create button. Now, system has created this project as a demo underscore LTMC. And here you can see the all list of all the objects what we want to create. Suppose if you want to create bank, then click on bank. If you want to create customer, then select a customer object. Like that, the object we have to select. Here is a customer. So here first I'm going to create a material. So what I will do, I will click here on the material. So once you click on the material, system will open the object material and the back end, I will explain you how to search this our project demo underscore LTMC in the back end system using T code LTMOM. So automatically in the backend system create this object. 
demo underscore LTMC uh, this project with the respect to object that we can check on the backend system with the code LTMOM. So now this object, uh, this material object is created and mapped with the migration project demo underscore LTMC. So first, what we have to do is to click on this download template. Once you click on this download template, our Excel file will be downloaded into our local machine and then check that. Click on download template. You can see here the new file .xml download has completed. To view the file, click on view downloads. Let me go to my download files. So here you can see this XML file is downloaded. Double click on this. For all the object, whether you're creating material, customer, bank, the concept will be same. Here we have to understand the concept for demo. Once we know the concept based on, based on our requirement, we can create different, different objects. See here on the introduction for sheet, here we can see the documentation like a migration template consists of different sheets which are visible at the bottom of the migration template. So here we can see different sheets are given. Based on the objects, the sheets will be different. You can go through documentation to understand all the particular objects in detail. The second you can see the field list for, for the material, what are different fields. Here we can see the field name as the material, material number, language key, material description, industry sector, etc. The next column, whether the field is mandatory or not, that is maintained here. So if you observe here, the material number is mandatory. This means that we have to pass the external material number, not the internal. You can also see the data element and the length, and then go to different sheets. Like basic data one. Here, if you see, this is orange color. This is mandatory field. And remaining are optional sheets. So this sheet is mandatory. So on this first sheet, we have to enter material number, language key, description, industry sector, material type. So all the mandatory fields are marked with asterisks that we have to pass. Remaining data based on our requirement, what we have to pass, we have to enter. Okay. So what we'll do. We'll, say, uh, we feel, uh, we'll create two, three records here in the download templates. For that, first click on enable edit link. Let's say my first metal ID, I want to give as LTMC001, language key as, and let's say, first material. Industry sector. To check the industry sector, we can open any existing record in Mara table, and here we can see the industry sector. So I'm going to use as a and metal type I will be using as FEART, and the same metal group I will use here. So what I will do, industry sector, I'm going to use as a metal type FEART. Metal use I will explain after this. Let's maintain the metal group and base unit are measure as EA. Based on your requirement, you can maintain different data. Come back here. Now for this material views. In the Mara table, there's a field called PSTAT. If you press F1, you can see a maintenance status. So as a material master, we have different view, like basic data, purchasing, forecasting. So for each view, a maintenance status is assigned. For basic data, the status is K. If you, want, if you want to maintain basic data and purchasing data, then we have to maintain K and E along with the combination. So first I'm going to use here as K. So what I will do, I will enter here as K. And let me repeat this complete block for one more record here. So second, I will Good as two and let's say three. Okay, this is my second material. 
the second material and now I will enter as the third material. Like this first, in the template we have to maintain all the data. Here I am creating only basic data one. But in real time you have to maintain plant data also, store location based on your requirement. Okay. So first I will save this record. And one important point here for this material view as I maintain here key. Here go to last sheet. Maintenance status setting. Here, if I give the maintenance status K, then what I want, I want system to create the basic data one. Okay, suppose if you want to create basic data around the purchasing organization, then you can maintain K and E as a material views and mark basic data one and purchasing as X. Here for my requirement, I'm creating only basic data. Okay, so you have to maintain that. Again, go back to basic data one. Save the record. Close the file and then upload into the browser. So I'm closing this file. And here we have to upload the file. Click on the upload button. Close the file. And click on upload. Once we click upload, it is not active. The first way to activate it. How to active? Select this record and click on activate button. Now you can see it is activated. After that, click on start transfer. Click OK. You can also run in case of last data, run in the background. So when the processing is finished, you can see the result on this screen. Now currently it is the it is running in the foreground. Once the 100% progress is done, close this. And here you can see all the information or error message. Here you can see the all the message information, no error. In case any errors, the errors are there, system will display the error message here. Okay, so here you can filter out. Suppose you want to see if any error is there. So there is no error. All information message. Okay, so means that our file is okay. Click on next button. The value, value data is done. Now convert values. Here take example, you want to assign some fixed values. Let's say for material group. Click on the mapping of material group. Take example, if your source file material group is, take example, in your Excel file, you have this material group, but in the target, you want to assign some different group. That field mapping we can do here. But I want to create all the data as it is based on my Excel file. So what I will do, I'm not going to change any field mapping. Everything I want to keep as it is. I will select all and click on confirm mapping values. This is in step number two, convert values. Compared to GUI, this works a little slow. So one error parameter use material ID for integration with external system. So we have to do some correction here. Click on this as we're not doing any integration. So what we can do, we have to select no integration and save. Okay, so step number two done, click on the next button. Now step number three is simulate import. Here also you have the option to run in the background, but I have only three records, so I'm running in the foreground only. So step number three also done. Now here also all information, no error. Click on the next button. Execute import. So now system is executing the import, importing of data. Click on the close button. You can see all information, no error. Okay, so our processing is done. 
start of the processing, end of the processing. There are no error. In case if any errors are there, system will display all the error here. Now, if your load is finished, just click on finish. Okay, so you can see here the status as the finish. You can repeat the data load with a different file under the same project and the object. Now let's cross check the new material ID in the Mara table. Go to Mara table, go back as I had given all the material as the as LTMC. Just execute. See here, you can see all the three IDs are created LTMC underscore 001, LTMC underscore 002, LTMC underscore 003, FART, interview sector A, and the material group which I have given. If you want to display this with the MM03, just copy one material code, enter T code as MM03. And you can display the material data here. See, first material, we just need to measure each and material group. Similarly, we can check for the other material also which we have created, that is LTMC into 002. Second material, base unit of measure, and the material group. So, in this way, using the LTMC tool, we can create the metal master, customer, etc. based on requirement. Now, second, now once we create this LTMC project, where we can see in the backend. To check this migration object in the backend system, there is one more T code called as LTMOM. Enter T code as LTMOM. It is known as the migration object modeler. And here, click on this input help. And if you know the complete name, enter the complete name or just enter some short name. So you can see here the demo underscore LTMC project is created with the migration object material. And here, if you want to see the source field, based on this source field, based on the source field, you can see all the details in the Excel sheet, which is getting downloaded. And in case if you want to add some custom field in the template, we have to enhance the source structure and we have to add our new field here. That is if you are going for any enhancement. But this is just demo. So I just wanted to show you on the back end how this migration object is created. And here we have to target structure. So here, as I explained, on the back end system, use the BAPI or function model. So through this function model, the materials get created. That's why we don't have to do any kind of recording here. We just need to download the existing template from the browser, fill the data, upload the file, and process the record. So in this way, we can use the LTMC migration cockpit in the S4 HANA only. This is not available in ECC. So for practice, you can try creating the customer or the material or just try the profit center which is easy to create. So in this way, we done with this session. Thank you.